Hi, I'm Dr. Sharjil, and today in this video, I would like to show you three different patients of the same complication who underwent cataract surgery in a free eye surgery camp where hundreds of surgeries are performed within a day and experienced similar complication. Now, the one patient history is interesting, so I would like to narrate. He was my patient. I diagnosed him with bilateral age-related cataracts and performed his one eye phaco emulsification one month back. Now, he was very happy and satisfied and asked me after one week post-cataract surgery that when should I undergo second eye surgery. I told him that after one more week, when the other eye will be two week post-op, then we can proceed the other eye surgery. He was a rich landlord, but then he didn't show up on the given date. And when he finally came, he had a counting finger vision, pain, reaction in the eye. And he said that uh, I had undergone cataract surgery yesterday. He was aphakic, uh, vitreous, full of uh, anterior chamber, full of vitreous. Uh, and on indirect 20 diopter examination, the nucleus was present at 6 o'clock in at the inferior retina so he had nuclear drop which is one of the serious per op complications in which posterior capsular rupture is followed by the nucleus falling posterior into the vitreous cavity and in old age as the vitreous senescence occurs vitreous is liquefied most commonly the nucleus drops inferiorly and it is found at six o'clock so I am showing you fundal view with indirect 20 diopter lens so the image is inverted and literally reversed that's why in the video you are seeing the whitish mass superiorly on the retina actually it is present inferiorly So if you don't remove it, it will cause inflammation, it will cause glaucoma, it will cause decreased vision, cystoid macular edema, it, if it is on the macula or the disc, it can cause adhesions, the fibrous membranes. So how to manage? Well, the management, but before management, the signs, how to prevent the nucleus drop so first you should be keen observer you should know the signs of the nucleus drop well the signs of the nucleus drop are the runaway capsular axis when you are performing phaco emulsification for a very hard cataract if the capsular axis is not round and complete and it has got cuts then convert it otherwise that's the ideal case that the capsule rexus will extend and nucleus will fall then the pupil suddenly constricts it is called a pupil snap sign the nucleus tilt if you are performing phaco emulsification and the nucleus is tilting or moving it means that it's in a very dangerous awkward position and it may fall and the sudden deepening of the anterior chamber and the fall of the nucleus into the vitreous cavity. So the management, uh, so how to prevent? The nucleus drop can be prevented if you do good size and good shaped capsular axis. If you do careful slow hydro dissection because uh, I have seen very good surgeons um, uh, when they um, managed a very beautiful round capsule rexus and when they did hydro dissection uh, there was a hidden polar cataracts true polar cataracts uh, along with the nuclear cataracts so within a blink of a second the whole nucleus sunk and they didn't get any time to prevent it so in a true polar cataracts you should avoid uh, uh, hydro dissection and even in a hard cataracts you should do slow careful hydro dissection so if you are a keen observer and 
then you should diagnose occult posterior capsular rupture as well because if you diagnose PCR early you can prevent nucleus drop so management is if the VR facility is available ask them to rescue you put viscoelastic remove the phaco probe and VR surgeon will remove it with pars plana vitrectomy plus phaco phragmatome and the VR surgeon may or may not use heavy liquid to elevate the drop nucleus now if your facility is not available then close the wound give anti-inflammatory drugs like steroids and IOP lowering drugs and refer to the VR facility as early as possible for the nucleus removal after the removal of nucleus in the same setting then if there is a rim in the sulcus ciliary sulcus post PCIOL or ACIOL can be implanted as well so that was all about the nucleus drop post cataract surgery thank you